cheer you. Hey y'all, so I'm doing a review from a PR set that was sent to me by Pop Beauty, y'all. So this is the palette, you guys, super pigmented. There's a bunch of shimmers in here. Um, I was worried because there's only one matte shade, which is what we starting off with today. So I am using the Morphe M433 or M44 something. I'll leave it down below. And I'm starting with that brown shade and I'm just patting it in my crease. So I'm patting it in my crease, creating the shape of my eye. Make sure that you keep that, that shape consistent. So I only use two shades for, you know, the crease. So I started by, you know, just defining my shape, getting that nice burnt orange color in. And it was a really nice shade, I must admit. Like that, this transition shade is probably one of my favorites because it just, it just looks so good. Okay, like they did that. So I did go on with this brown. The brown did have a little bit of shimmer in it, which I was worried about, but it didn't really, you know, mess with the look or anything. So I just put that like right on top of that brick shade just to de further define the crease. And then I'm going in with this kind of glitter shade. So I said today's look was not a cut crease. So I did not cut my crease. I'm just patting that pigment like directly where you would if you were cutting your crease. So doing it this way makes it look more soft and natural. So um, it's also easier if you don't know how to cut creases. I just took a round fluffy brush and just kind of like went in circular motions where you know the glitter should be. And then after that, I went back in with the brick shade because if you mess up with glitter, you can go back in with your crease shade and kind of fix it and blend it out so don't worry if you put too much glitter you can always go back in and fix it so that's what you guys see me doing here just blending so everything looks seamless okay so I did go in with a liner I was looking for kind of a more you know it always I feel like liner always makes your your eye look look much better so I did use the elf liquid liner that's my favorite that's the one I always use two dollars at Walmart girl get into it okay um, so yeah, let that dry, let that dry. So I do want to talk about the makeup ma the magnet, the makeup magnet mist that they sent me. This stuff is bomb.com, you guys, okay? So I already have I already put my primer on, you know, off camera, but then I went ahead and did like a quick spray of it. And I sprayed a little bit more because this stuff smells really good. So now you see me after I let that setting spray, that magnet mist dry, I am going in with some translucent setting powder just so that I can um, set the base for my foundation. I just wanted to show you guys me putting on the foundation um, over top of the, you know, my base with the magnet mist. The makeup magnet mist, guy, God, that's a tongue twister. Y'all know I can't never say nothing that ain't makeup magnet mist, girl, that's too much. <laughs> but it made my, my uh, it made my foundation flawless, y'all. Like, I am a fan of this, okay? Like, definitely check this stuff out. Also, I do want to point that I did use this shade for a highlighter. Um, I love using eyeshadows as highlighters because you get, you know, this had, this was kind of like a pinky shade, but it doesn't look very pink. It's kind of like rose gold, if you will. And girl, it just set this look off. And not to mention like how pigmented the shimmers are. Like this whole palette is pigment. So I did go in with a lighter lip and I later changed my mind because I'm like, girl like this this shade is too light so i did go in and do a darker lip because i just felt like this this look needed a darker lip okay like <laughs> don't clock me but as you can see it definitely makes a difference <laughs> So that was it for today's eyeshadow tutorial. I hope this was super beginner friendly for you guys. Let me know if you guys have tried Pop Beauty. Let me know if you guys like this look and if you guys want more beginner friendly eyeshadow looks. So let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.